What's up, everybody? Brothers, sisters, psychonauts, and seekers of truth, it is Ananka, and welcome to my bazaar. Today, I have a heroin trip report for you. The title of this trip report is A Devotion, and was submitted to Irowid in 2006 by the user Seven. With all that being said, let our story begin. For the last four months, my partner and I have been recreationally using heroin. This would not be a problem if it were not for the intense pull that H creates in our life. It wants us, we can tell. It all started when a friend offered me some in a club. I had tried the stuff before, shot it actually, and hated it. But this time I was curious. It didn't seem like a club drug, but I needed something new. I've always loved drugs, <laughs> loved being an understatement. Coke, ecstasy, prescriptions and the like, but was bored with all of them. So being bored and being crazy, I asked her how she did it in a club. Weren't there needles and all to contend with? This is where it gets interesting. Turns out she dissolved the heroin in water and then snorted the vinegary liquid. I have never heard of anyone else doing this, despite my searches online. She gave me my own clean syringe, filled with the tiniest bit, about 20 cc's, of amber-colored stuff, and told me to lay it on the inside of my nose and squirt while inhaling. So I did just that. I had to fake bravado and was rewarded with the most amazing rush of warmth and lightheadedness. All I could muster up to say was, I like this. But in my heart, I knew I had found my new love. I knew because along with the warmth, I felt something I had never felt with any other drug. Lust. Twenty minutes later, I was puking my guts out in the Jane. Oh, I forgot to tell you about that, says my cohort, but still completely loving it. She told me if I did more, I'd feel better. I declined. Skip ahead to me bringing a small, sticky ball home to my girlfriend. I have to say, I was so nervous introducing her to my new friend. I wanted her to be safe. I wanted her to have a good time, but mostly, I needed to share the intensity of my love for this drug with someone. Someone I could fuck. Of course, she loved it, and soon heroin became our weekend ritual. Lighting candles, playing music, brie and wine and grapes, reading tarot, and finally fucking. For hours on end. The most intense, beautiful, technicolor sex. Each time we did it, we got closer to each other. And each time we did it, we wanted to do it again and again. We have constructed many a boundary around our strange nighttime ritual. Me more than my girlfriend, since I tend to feel more guilty about these kinds of things. I.e. fun things. We tried saying we'd only do it once every two weeks, but that lasted six days. We have rules about how much we do in one night, how late we stay up, and so on. So far, the rules have kept us safe from addiction. Unless you consider the nagging, I don't want to go a weekend or have sex without it feelings. I've worked plenty long as a substance abuse counselor, to know precisely how to construct this madness. Just how to be on the edge of danger without going over, and I honestly have no fear about becoming addicted. I don't have an addictive personality, and I'm much too focused on other things when I'm not high. Don't get me wrong, I love drugs, 
just not that much. The problem is, the thing I love more than drugs is sex. I just wonder about how this black dog has affected said sex life. Is it ruined? What if I never have sex this good sober? In the meantime, my partner and I ponder these questions in a candlelit room over the splayed-out tarot cards, the soft shag blanket, and a tiny vial of amber-colored liquid. We have never run out, although once we were down to our last little bit, and I left the vial open on the nightstand. I was reaching for the lube when I heard the most sickening sound, the vial falling over. Turns out I was mistaken. I had remembered to put the cap back on. But in those few seconds of uncertainty, my girl and I shot each other a look we had never seen before. Fear. Here's the dosing info on all that. Now I don't got the lingo, but I'll do my best. My partner and I usually cook a third of a ball of tar with about two milliliters of water. We use either a syringe or a tiny dropper, like that used in box rescue remedy tincture, to squirt the liquid into our noses while inhaling. It burns, but not terrible. We do one squirt, 10 to 20 cc's each hour or so. We feel it right away if we've done it right but not so as to feel overwhelmed. Each pack of goo is different, so we do small amounts to start. So far, we have mixed the stuff with alcohol, GHB, and Coke. Alcohol often makes us nauseous, but can be fun in small amounts. Coke? I like it. It can definitely wake me up when the H starts to make me sleepy. I prefer not to do it too late in the game. It makes me jittery and I can't sleep as well. GHB. In very small amounts. Sorry, I'm no help here. Mine comes in liquid when I get it. Boosts the feeling of the heroin. But can make me a bit nauseous. All right, everybody. That is the end of our story. If you enjoyed it, don't forget to like, share, subscribe. Share with us your heroin experiences down in the comments below. Check out the other videos and playlists on my channel. And I will see you in the next one, fam. Deuces.